update to a story that we've been following closely. The Stanford woman who lost her three young children and parents in a Christmas morning fire is reportedly recovering this evening after trying to take her own life. As you can see here behind me, there's absolutely nothing left of the home where the fire happened. Down here is a small memorial with the three little girls' initials symbolizing the group Madonna Badger still feels as well as the entire community. A nation watched as Madonna Badger grieved over the loss of her three little girls, Lily, Grace, and Sarah, at their funeral last month. A grief for her that it seems became too much to take. But I think it's understandable that she would feel so much pain, so much emotional pain, that she just didn't feel that she could go on. Badger and her companion, Michael Borsina, were the sole survivors of the blaze. Both were interviewed by police following the fire. Family Center's counselor Amanda Romanello says Badger is likely experiencing the unthinkable, a mix of grief and guilt. I think just complete devastation. And, and how am I going to go on now? How am I going to live now knowing that my parents and my children didn't survive this fire and I did? You, you learn to survive. Yeah, you learn, you learn to go on, but you do have to go through it. You have to experience it. You have to feel the feelings, the sadness, the guilt, the, the remorse about, you know, the circumstances around what happened. News reports detail that Badger was hospitalized after the suicide attempt. On a Facebook page dedicated to she and her family, Badger today released a statement saying, I'm in a safe place trying to find healing and God's grace. Love, Madonna. Meanwhile, Stanford police say their report regarding the Stanford fire may be released as early as next week. Of course, we'll continue to follow the story for you.